Let's look at this ancient character. What do you think it represents? At first, doesn't it look like a European crown? But remember that this is a Chinese character, and monarchs of these civilizations never wore crowns that look like that. Instead, they had a type of ceremonial headgear that looked like this. It's read Mianguan in Mandarin, Bengkan in Japanese, Mingun in Cantonese, and Mianguan in Vietnamese. In Korean, they add another character in the middle to make Miaoluguan. What else do you think it could be? We'll give you a hint. Like the Mianguan, it starts with the letter M. If you guessed mountain, you're right. The character represents the view of mountain ranges from afar. Let's take a look at how Shan came to look the way it does. Initially, it was written as such. At this stage, the character depicts three mountains alongside one another. Interestingly, the bone script for fire was almost identical, albeit with a more curved base. Nevertheless, the two characters often can only be distinguished by the content of the divination in which they appear. Thankfully, both of them evolved. Let's see how the script for mountain changed. Gradually, the triangular shapes that denoted the robust shape of mountains were dropped from the character, leaving only three simple vertical strokes. Sometimes the line in the middle was embellished by making it much longer than the other two. Soon the character began to look much like how we know it today. In modern Chinese, Japanese and Korean, the character can mean mountain, hill, peak. The middle Chinese pronunciation was shan. This becomes shan in Chinese, san in Japanese, san in Korean, san in Cantonese, and sun in Vietnamese. The Japanese also have their own reading of yama. Meanwhile, the Koreans have the word me to mean mountain, hill, and so they refer to this character as me san. Thank you for watching today's video. We have some exciting news to share today. Firstly, we've set up a website, which you can find under 808cjk.com. There you can find an overview of all the characters in all three languages. And secondly, we've set up a Discord, which you are more than welcome to join. More info about that can be found in the description box. As per usual, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like and consider subscribing. Special thanks go out to our patrons for making this project possible. If you want to support us too, you can find the link to our Patreon below. See you next time!